So what is Receipt Bank? In a nutshell, Receipt Bank is a tool which helps you submit your receipts and invoices to your accounts and bookkeepers quickly, efficiently, and effortlessly. In using Receipt Bank, all your items are stored securely in the cloud, ready for your accountants and bookkeepers. And we use OCR technology to ensure all the correct information is extracted from the items you submit. So once you've submitted your items, that's it. So what does this mean for you? It means an end to storing your receipts in a bag or a shoebox and the beginning of a much easier and efficient way for you to get your items to your advisors. So why should you start storing your receipts and invoices digitally? So a study was carried out by Free Agent, which is a business in the UK, um, of small businesses in the UK not bothering to submit their expenses under about $8.50 or £5. And it'd be great to hear your views on this, so I'm going to run a poll right before we start here. So the question for the poll will be, out of all the participants in the study, how much money do you think failing to submit the small expenses in their businesses collated to over the course of a year? Now remember, this is just from the people in that study. So this isn't thinking all of the UK or anything like that, it's just the study that Free Agent did. I'll give you guys a second just to answer that one and see what you guys think. All right, we're almost all voted here. It's a good mix as well. I'll close it in about five seconds and then we'll go ahead and have a look. So the options were 1.7 million, 170 million to 330 million or over 330 million. And these are actually just direct conversions from pounds. All right, so here's how everyone answered. We got about 30% saying 1.7, 44%, 1.7 to 3.3, or 33, 330 million, sorry, and over 330. So the answer was actually over 330. It's always the biggest one. So that's insane. That's huge amounts of lost revenue. And this was just for the people in that study. So you can imagine what it would be like when you're thinking countrywide. And it shows how much these small expenses can really add up. So for example, you might be visiting a client once a week and you have to pay five to ten dollars for the car park, especially if you're in the middle of the city. Now that doesn't seem like much, but it actually adds up to over five hundred dollars a year. So that's five hundred dollars of money wasted of expenses not claimed back if you're not submitting them digitally. By using Receipt Bank, it's easy, quick, and hassle-free to submit your expenses on the go. Now at the moment, you're probably storing your receipts in a paper format a shoebox or a file or a glove compartment, anything like that, which you have to collate together and then give to your accountant or bookkeeper at the end of the month. Now, the problem with this is that receipts and invoices are likely to get lost or not handed in in time. I know a partner who I worked with, their client kept their receipts in the glove compartment of their ute. They opened the door one day in the cab door and the wind got to it and they lost half of their receipts. So that was just gone, literally in the wind. And we don't want you chasing after these missed expenses. Your accountant bookkeeper has moved you onto Receipt Bank so you can now submit receipts on the go as and where you've received them digitally rather than having to keep all that paper, which we know can be a hassle. So thanks to the cloud, you no longer have to worry about keeping those paper receipts and invoices stored up. With the archive in your Receipt Bank account, we do all the storing for you and up to, store it for up to seven years in accordance with the ATO guidelines so you can be paperless completely. And when you start submitting those items on the go, your accountant bookkeeper will no longer have to chase you up for all those documents, which we know can be a bit of a hassle. So by moving you onto Receipt Bank and the cloud, your accountant bookkeeper has future-proofed you for being tax compliant in the age of the cloud. But it's important to also see the opportunity of submitting in real time by having the opportunity to regularly submit real time data to your accounts and bookkeepers as a small business, you can start realizing the worth of that data and the up to date books that you get in return. Your accounts and bookkeepers can start giving you real time financial advice and you can know what's going on in your business now rather than last year. So to the nitty gritty, how do we use Receipt Bank with your accounts and bookkeeper? Well, it's really quite simple for your end. All you need to do is submit the receipt or invoice and leave the rest up to your advisor. You really just do this by taking a picture using our app. 
or you can forward any PDFs that you've sent to a personalized receiptbank.me email address that's already been set up for you. And I'll show you how to do this now. So what we're going to do is switch over to a live demo on my phone screen. So this is actually my phone that I use for my personal expenses inside the Receipt Bank company. Now, your account at Bookkeeper might have already invited you in to use the app. If so, and you have the phone or app on your phone at the moment, bring it out now because we'll try and do a demo now. If not, you can just watch along with me and we'll see what it looks like and how easy it is to process it. So what we're going to do is pretend that we're out and about and take a receipt as if we were you and about, you know, for a business lunch. So let's say we're out. This one I've got here is from Sir Chapel down in Sydney. I've had a business lunch and I'm ready to expense that because um, I know it's going to count towards my tax. I simply open the Receipt Bank app and you'll end up on this main page here, which shows you your inbox. I don't have anything in there at the moment, but if I you know, was regularly submitting, it would be here. I simply hit that camera button down the bottom. You'll see a live camera feed pops up. I'm just going to hover it over my receipt that I got the other day. And you can see it's not even that great of a receipt. And press the camera button like that. Now, Receipt Bank's already going to show you a review of the item. So looking at the image, making sure that it's in focus, that you can see everything. If you're happy with that, just hit Submit for Processing. Receipt Bank, as you can see at the top, it's going to see start uploading it, preparing it, and then processing it. And during processing, what it's doing is actually pulling out that key information. Now, for you guys, that's it. There are no extra steps here. There's no logging in. There's no you know coding yourself. It's literally taking a photo. Super, super simple. And all of the data on this receipt has been extracted by Receipt Bank automatically for your accounts and bookkeepers and saving them time on the other end. And of course, now it's backed up with us. And let's be honest, we always have our phones on us. So when you're out for lunch with a client or filling up with petrol for a business trip, instead of risking losing the, re the restaurant or petrol receipt, all you need to do is take a picture straight away and then you can throw away that receipt because it's backed up with us and we backed up with your accounts and bookkeepers. Now, what we want to talk about as well is the quality of images that we're taking. So we've worked really hard on our extraction software to ensure that the experience of submitting items is as effortless as possible. However, it's still important that images taken using the app are as clear as possible. So what we can see is, let's say I was out and about, I was in a rush and I take a photo very quickly like that. You can see it's not a great image. It doesn't have the full receipt in it. It also isn't lit that well. It's a bit blurry. Now, our processing system can get a little bit of information out of this, but not a lot. So what we want to do is make sure that we can get the most out of it. So just like you were taking a normal picture of your friends or family, make sure everything's in focus. Make sure that if you can read it, then Receipt Bank can read it. That's our general guide as it comes through. Now, another issue that can come along is you have multiple receipts. So let's say round about, you guys will be able to see here, and I have two receipts and I want to take them quickly. This is where we flick from our single mode to our multiple mode. So you can line up your receipts like I've done here and say, all right, first photo done, second photo done. That's a really easy way of submitting multiple receipts at once. So instead of having to take a picture, hit submit, take a picture, hit submit, take a lot of pictures at once and submit them all in. Super easy. In the same vein, receipts aren't always what you want them to be. So I've got a price line here one, which is quite long under here, and you can see it's really not going to fit in one photo. So what do we do with that? Combine mode on the right here. So this is specially designed for really long receipts. This is particularly useful for things like Woolworths receipts or um, when you're going shopping and they give out those huge long receipts. So what you do is you take a photo of the top and then you take a photo of the bottom. Now, Receipt Bank's pretty clever, and it's going to know how to merge these two together and act as one large receipt. Super simple. It makes you not having to worry about have you submitted the right end of the receipt. You know, if they give you an FBOS form separate to the items form, uh, that's how it all fit together. Awesome. So taking a picture through the mobile app is the easiest and most efficient way to submit a receipt or invoice. But you might receive some receipts digitally through your email, for example, when you purchase something at Amazon. So for these items, you all have your own personalized email in address. So this is used particularly, as we said, for those digital items coming in. You can see this email address through the Receipt Bank app. So if we're looking at the app here on our main screen, 
I can hit the little hamburger icon on the top left, and there'll be an option that says email in. So I'm going to put this up, and this shows me a personalized email in address. Now, this is just for you, and this can be used, as we said, for anything digital coming in. And it always ends in at receiptbank.me. So similar like a normal email address, which will end in uh, at gmail.com, at receiptbank.me. And for convenience, you can add this to your contacts book right now as it comes in. Perfect. And you see, I just added it to the contacts book here. So you don't even have to remember what it actually is. Just name it something like email in. Now, guys, that is it. It is so simple to submit these receipts and invoices into Receipt Bank. You can see the one that I've done there is in processing now. Your bookkeeper and accountant could log in and see all those details and start working on it very soon. That's pretty much it for submission. <laughs>